What's going on guys, Sam Man back with another review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Marvel Comics one six scale Spider-Man statue. I got Captain America review after this one, but today we're taking a look at Spider-Man. If you guys haven't checked out my 110 scale reviews on the statues, check out the catalog of videos. And if you want to pick this up, link in the description down below for Big Bad Toy Store. That's where I got this, $5 shipping, guys. All right, so these are, this is my first time reviewing a 1-6 scale one. I'm pretty hyped for this. So it's a larger figure. You got the big open window. You got the comic book that it's, uh, I guess that it's based off of. That's it right there. I'm not sure if that's necessarily what it's based off of, um, but there's uh, another image right here on the side right there of the comic. And then it's got a totally different comic book cover on the back, but it says inspired by the Amazing Spider-Man issue 301. So let's not waste any more time. Let's open this bad boy up and let's see if this guy is gonna be a pickup or a pass. All right guys, so I honestly forgot how this guy comes, like what he comes with. So first off you get the rod, right? To just like this 110 scale ones to put Spider-Man on. One thing I forgot that this guy, these, these 1-6 scales come with, they freaking come with comic books. I totally forgot that these came with comics. So we're gonna open this up. I actually own that issue right there on the back. I don't know if I own the one that's like the cover one. I don't think I own that one, but we're gonna open up the book because it does come with a book and it does come with a card. So the card in itself has a extra sleeve on there. Silver Sable is back. So that's what it's based off of. And then you have the book right here. It's a McFarlane cover. I think I think I own this one. I'm not 100% sure, but this is obviously just a a reprint. So, but it's a it's the comic itself. So that is pretty that is pretty damn awesome that it comes with a comic and a card. I totally forgot it came with that. And then you have the freaking insert, right? Which is the city. And then you have the base right here which is supposed to be looks like it's a rooftop right here. That's a rooftop and then you have New York City in the back. Look at that. I love this. This looks great. And see the difference between this one and the 110 scale. I mean, one, you can see the size difference. Look at that. You can see the size difference, right? On these. And then this one you have to put together with some like tackers or tape or something. This one already comes intact. So you don't have to worry about, you know, getting this to stick. And then right there in the back, again, you have the comic book panels. So this is pretty awesome. I like that it came with that. I like that it came with comics. Now, Spider-Man, he's like, I don't know how this thing's supposed, I mean, I don't know if this glue came off or if this is how it's supposed to look, but a piece of this is attached to the base, right? I don't know if this other piece was supposed to, but that's how it came in the box. And then you have the base right here. So you can see it is a rooftop and then it does have amazing Spider-Man right here. Um, nothing in the bottom. And then you have Spider-Man right there. There's like a circle that he's jumping out of. So that is what is based off of, let me get the comic book here. Looks like it's that one right there. This is what this is based off of, that book. So you can see the little circle, Spider-Man shooting his web to the side, which looks pretty cool. Let me see if I can get this to focus a little good, a little better, I should say. Look at that. And this is the eyes are sculpted. I don't know if there's a webbing sculpted. It's painted, but the sculpt itself on, on Spider-Man is pretty damn good. Look at that. You got the leg, crazy pose that he's in. Oh, the base fell off. Yeah, so, oh, it looks like it pegs in. I mean, we'll figure that out in a second. But then you got this other web right there that's just going like looping all the way around. So you can see that. It's just like looping all the way around. And then this is sick. I really like this. And again, it's it's definitely a larger scale than the previous 110 scale. And then there's the spider logo on the back and then the web right there on the front that hangs down. You can see it's dripping on that circle. So what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and attach them. The rod goes right there, not in the butt, right there in the top. Now what I like that they did with the tip of the rod is they made it blue so it blends in with his suit. There you go. All right, guys, I figured this out. Okay, so first off, here he is fully complete, right? With the base. This looks fantastic. Looks very, very good. Large scale, the web's going down right there. I like the clear plastic that they used. So the webbing has peg holes. So one pegs right there on the base, 
There's a peg right there. The other one pegs on the pipe right here where my finger's at. I still gotta adjust it so it's in there all the way, but you can see it pegs right there. That's where that's gonna peg. So, but I mean, this looks incredible. Look at that, I love this display. I'm very excited to see how Iron Man's gonna look, or Captain America, sorry. And then you have the backdrop, right? But again, similar to the, okay, see, he's falling, he's falling. Let's see if I can get this to adjust, sit in all the way. Okay, I think that works. You have to really force that bar in the base because otherwise he's gonna lean forward. So let's do this live here so you guys can see the full effect on this statue. There he is. But again, similar to the previous Spider-Mans, you wanna display him somewhere high so you get that really cool effect of looking at him jump through. Look at that. Doesn't that look really cool? Especially with the city and the backdrop there. Now let's do, a, let's do some size comparisons here. Okay, right here you can see him displayed next to the 110 scale statue. And you can obviously see how small this Spider-Man is compared to this one. It's a, just, a, it's so different, but they look so freaking awesome. And there you go, guys, there is my review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys 1-6 scale Spider-Man, based off of the amazing Spider-Man. And again, the cool thing about this, not only do you get a comic book right here, you also get the comic card and you get the backdrop, which you can see right here is intact. You don't have to worry about trying to put this sucker together. It already comes together. So this is awesome. I am so happy with this piece. I'm glad I got this in my collection. Again, I said this before, I can't wait for McFarlane to release more of these. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know, is this a pickup? Is this a pass? Is this for you? Is this something you would love in your collection? Let me know why and why not. And again, you guys can order this from BigBadToyStore.com. Link in the description down below. I thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button. We got more videos on the way, guys. Thank you for everything. We'll see you soon. Later.